The name, the name Spanx came to me while I was sitting in traffic in Atlanta. I'd been writing names for my product invention on scrap pieces of paper for about the whole year and a half that I was trying to get it made at night and on the weekends. I had not quit my day job, so I was still selling fax machines at this point in time. And I narrowed down my search of bad names by um, realizing that at the time, the two most recognized names in the world were Coke and Kodak. And so I just started playing with the words. What do they have in common? They both have a really strong K sound. And I have friends that are stand-up comedians. It's this strange trade secret among comedians that the K sound makes your audience laugh. So I put all that together and said, there must be some good luck with the K sound. In fact, the guy who started Kodak liked the K sound so much, he just took a K and put it at the beginning and the end of a word and played with letters of the alphabet. And so I wanted my invention to have the K sound in it. Spanx came to me almost instantly. I pulled over and wrote it down on a scrap piece of paper. I saw it across the dashboard. I went home to my apartment and typed, went to USPTO.gov and typed in Spanx and put my credit card in for $150. And at the very last second that I hit send, I changed the KS to an X. I just backspaced to and put an X because I had remembered reading that made up words do better for products than real words do and they're more memorable. So I hit send and that $150 investment is, you know, the name Spanx is probably what is my greatest asset right now within the um, company. So that was a really great moment for me um, doing that. And my runner-up name, just so I could share with you guys how bad they were, and I probably would not be standing here today if I would named it that, was Open-Toed Delilah's. <laughs> 